Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Sorry about that. I uh, hit the go live button and then my stomach was like, mm, you found that. Uh, you found that pain to be slightly enticing. Let's give you some more. Thus, I was put out of commission. Yeah, honestly, Astolia, I I tried. I'm gonna try and play around with some with some uh, numbers, even if I have to make ads run more frequently, like every 55, 50 minutes. I tried playing three minutes of ads to get rid of the ads that it plays like five minutes into stream, so I don't have to wait eight or nine minutes. I mean, I, th in this case, I had to go anyways. Um, excuse me. But on a regular day, like I have to wait five minutes to then let ads play for three minutes, and I despise that. So if Twitch doesn't understand the concept of 60 minutes having ads every 60 minutes, regardless of when I start my stream. I'm gonna try and play around with some numbers and just make it like, okay, play this amount of ads every 55 minutes, see when that plays the ads at the beginning of my stream, just to get them out of the way. Oh, that's fair. But I mean, like, that's just on the ads part. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work because it's a pain in the ass. Like, it's a big pain in the ass. I don't like people coming in, like, I don't like firing up stream and then immediately not having the ability to go live. Like, it's supposed to be hourly. I don't know. It's dumb to me. Uh, so today's gonna be a bit of a short day, here and there, uh, because we are gonna be doing an AP practice. I don't suspect this thing to go that quickly, so we're probably gonna do this. We'll take a look at the time. Uh, and then most likely what will end up happening once we finish is I'm going to go offline, I'm going to go make some food, I'm going to get myself ready for I want to be the guy of time, and then um, at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time we have the charity event day three of four, potentially five, we don't know yet. The, the fourth map might be a bit of a girthy one. What What's happening? You got bored and you made a theme song? I'm gonna save this. Just block out Pro Pokebot. Most of my good ideas come from being bored too, Astolia. Hell yeah. It has been saved. Thank you everyone, by the way, who celebrated yesterday with the uh, with the community AP we did for my birthday. That was awesome. To sing it? I don't sing. You can't pay me enough to sing. If you want, we can make other people make you people sing it. For every $25 raised, it has to be sung in synchronicity at the end. To be dead honest with you, I actually do have, like, an enormous fear of singing in public. I've been made fun of it way too much in my past that I just, I, I don't give a shit to listen to it anymore. And it just makes me really uncomfortable. I know, I'm a party pooper.
You might think to yourself, man, noob, you tell us a lot of things you're afraid of. What the hell happened to you as a kid? You wanna know? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, don't laugh today. Got it. Jesus Christ. Fine, whatever. No fun allowed. Luckily, we're practicing for no holidays allowed, because no fun allowed wouldn't be the greatest marathon to be a part of, wouldn't it? Oh, fuck. Stupid fucking stomach, man. Gallbladder. Whatever it is. Liver, gallbladder, remove it all. Just, just remove it. Make this easy. I swear to you, chat. I will... not be surprised in any way possible. If one day they're like, yeah, your gallbladder needs to be removed. I'm just, I'm, I, I, I'm, I've been, I, I've not been trying to will it into existence because that'd be weird. I'm just thinking to myself, if I heard that from a doctor, would I punch the doctor? It's not the doctor's fault that all the other doctors have said, oh yeah, your, well, your gallbladder looks fine. Yeah, that liver looks fine. Everything looks fine. I haven't done anything wrong. It just seems to be genetic. Um, but. If they come to me one day and they be like, remove it, I'm going to be like, cool. I could have told you that eight... Oh, wait, I did tell you that eight months ago. You know, when I said that we have a huge family history of having issues with digestive organs? Wow. But you guys said it was okay, despite the fact that it was okay for my dad. <sighs> I'm hoping it doesn't get to that. Obviously, I don't want it to get to that. Simultaneously, it's incredibly debilitating, and not knowing what it is creates its own issue, especially if this is a stress-induced IBS. It's a lot of stress not knowing what's the problem. Most people get that clarity, have a name to put to the to the issue. Mine's just like, nah, oh, did I take the wrong pills? I took the wrong pills. You have to give me one moment here, chat. Oh, did I not take these pills yesterday? Oh, I don't know anymore. Sorry, let me, give me one moment. I just gotta go grab the proper pills, and then we'll get going. These pills don't help with the pain, but I gotta keep up with with the, with the pain, you know what I mean? Or keep up with the pills. This is interesting. Indigo Plateau Flypoint again. Seems to be happening more and more. Curious. Getting more reverse victory road practice or road victory, if you will. Could be appreciated. I suppose. Alright. I feel like I've been doing pretty well with these practice runs. So I'm grateful that I've been putting... Well, I'm not grateful. I'm glad that I've been putting my mind to getting good practice in. Just want to look my best for December 6th. You know? Alright, 3, 2, 1, potato. I'm gonna put on a nicer shirt than normal. I'll put on one of my nicer... 
plaid sweater zipper things. Zipper vests, whatever you call those things. The ones with the zip. I like, I like the zipper shirts. I've been getting into those more lately. They feel warmer when I would wear long sleeve shirts. Man, yeah, I'll dress the part. How you doing, Harry? Hate having to dress the part. I feel like a clown. I guess honk honk. What the hell are these choices? I guess. God. Up and down. Same. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh. Come on. Yikes. Oh, no, he's not going to kill me. No. Might as well just try and force the win in any way. Don't you dare bind me. That would be the worst way to waste my time here. You really can't control the early game on how bad this can go. Yep, here goes all my time wasted. Wrap me five times, right? No? Oh, wow. At least Seal looks cute from behind, I suppose. Alright, let me go plateau fly point. Seal's not very fast. Kabutop's like base 70 speed. I'd have to agree, Suwaka. How you doing, man? <sighs> I thought that guy was about to walk in my way. I'm doing okay. Stomach's being a bit aggressive, or whatever organ is being a bit aggressive. So, had to go deal with that at the beginning of stream, but otherwise, I'm here and ready to do what I'm doing. It's a super repel day. Damn. Nothing good to sell. I think it's the most awkward part is I just want to know what, what, what part in there is. Because when I talk to my doctor about it, I know I talk about my health a lot, but it's kind of controlling my entire life. So I talk to my doctor a lot. And and I point to the area and I'm like, well, there's a few organs in there. And I go, you guys can't tell me you can't figure out all the organs in there and what could be possible. Because it's just pressure. Pressure from pain. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with you. So how am I getting pressure? Flash early. Ooh. Easy logic? Easily forced logic? I'm gonna check Shelter. I'm just gonna check Shelter. If we find early Waterstone, it can happen, right? Awful. Actually atrocious. Yeah, it's... Medicine is lost stuff, more like it. That's why at this point, Eastern Medicine is going to be the best move for me. Because Western Medicine's done with me, right? They said they'll help with pain, but there's there's literally no issues. There's literally There are literally no issues that they can fix, because they are very much fixers of things that they can see. This is not something you can see. This is more of a functional issue. And they don't work in functional unless they're structural damage. In case you're ever curious for yourself, if you're dealing with a health issue and your doctor seems to be lost, it's not necessarily your doctor's inept or, or incapable. It might just be an issue you literally have to go to a naturopath or something. But fucking holy crap. All right. Firo carry today. Special Firo carry. We'll take it. Actually, really quickly. Let me check. I don't know what to think about that. I, 
I'm thinking this Firo is ready to destroy people. D uh... D I don't... What do you even get rid of? Um... D I... Huh? I am more of a physical attacker, so I do want Bone Meringue. It's just really... strange... Stab Dizzy Punch is very powerful. I did use a Super Bow, or Super Repel, right? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't fault my doctors. If anything, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm gonna start sounding like Thanos. I'm actually very grateful that my doc, my, my, my family doctor's just like, yeah, I have no idea what to do with you. Go see another doctor. You don't get a lot of doctors like that. A lot of them will try to force something and be like, well... We're trying to determine what it is. We're going to use my methods. We'll see if that works out. And I'm like, no, I don't want you using me as a guinea pig. Just admit that you have no idea what's wrong with me, and then we can move on and stop wasting my time and my days with the finite amount of time I have to live on this earth. Ah, oh, fuck you. Actually got the kill on me. That is a shame. So, I'm, I'm happy... As, as weird as it sounds, I'm very happy that my doctor is just kind of like, yeah. I want to help, but I don't know how to help. So the best that I can do is is just like, you need pain meds? You need anti-anxiety meds? I got you. We'll just do that, right? Charmander! Try to put it to sleep before I switch out here. Just because it's probably holding back on me. I don't know. Okay, well, you're not using it. It's just gonna whip out Ice Beam right now. Leech Seed. Somehow worse. Now I go back and sell some stuff. I need a revive. I can't go through this place without a revive. It's too risky. Oh, there you go. There's our money. Perfect. Okay, that fixes a lot of things. We didn't get really anything good to sell in the beginning. So now we have some conversion items. A little bit of a slower start, but we did get a very powerful Pokemon. fero has got base 100 attack, has great speed or something like that. It has 90 attack, 100 speed, something like that. It's really good. Um, it'll get the job done. It's got some good special moves in this game. It doesn't really matter because DVs make a lot of powerful things just better overall. By two revives. Feels like a three revive seed. Okay, maybe this will be a fast seed? This is just an archipelago rando solo, yeah. Aw, oh, did somebody... Okay, yeah. Nobody, nobody was free today, so... Just practicing for the sake of practicing. Well, not just for the sake of practicing, but it's good to, just good to practice, run through the game. Get less of those, uh worries that I have on movement out of my out of my regular play, you know what I mean? Looks like Shawnee's still having problems with this PC. Yeah, I'm going through Santa Loon Forest, Broken. How'd you know? Good to see you, man. How you doing? I know, revives are... There are, there are so many... I don't want to say bad behaviors, but there are a lot of nuzlocke things that I do like saving power points and everything that I just it's it's very very difficult for me to separate from my from my speed running play I think that's kind of the reason why I don't take like I take I want to do well for the marathon obviously but I, I I feel like with the different ways all the different ways that I play Pokemon between nuzlocking and speed running it and stuff like that I just feel like my best course of action is just gets kind of like the 75% of both skills 
that make it good, and just accept there will be tiny time losses here or there. Weekly coffee shop meeting? Nice. It's good to have time to yourself. <sighs> With friends, of course. Man, this coconut cream thing's good. Might start making it more. I don't think it's hurting much either. I don't think. It's just three tablespoons of coconut cream with one tablespoon of water to dilute it. So that I don't have this super creamy substance getting stuck inside my gut. Okay, tea and flash early. That's incredibly suspect, and I have to follow that. Like, there's no reason for me not to follow that. Set up a... If I don't have fly, set up a warp point in saffron, and just go straight to... Oh my god, I hate this game. Oh, this game's so bad! That should have killed in any other Pokemon game. It is. Was it Zeph or Harry yesterday saying... I think it was Zeph saying yesterday that I'm a very atypical Pokemon player. Who's... I think... Who was saying that? We were oh, I think it was on Zeph's stream. Because she's playing a game that I really want but can't afford right now. Um... And we were just, like, talking about, like, how the stereotypical or, or the typical things that you could find in a Pokemon community with, like, constant complaints and stuff like this. And I'm just kind of like that middle ground of, I'll complain about Pokemon stuff, but not to the point where I'll die on a hill for a Pikachu. You know what I mean? Like, I will not murder my firstborn just so that Pikachu and, and Pokemon company can put food on their table. No one should be that zealous, zealous over there. Over any franchise or anything, really. Nothing wrong with being passionate. You can be passionate without being ridiculous. But ridiculous is subjective, new. Yeah, I'm. I'm well aware. That's the problem. No. <laughs> Let's sell that. Actually, I'm just gonna sell that early. Um, sell this off. Sell that off. I'm not really a selling guy, but we don't have anything to sell for money. And we're playing solo, too, so... Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a lot of these. But the Emerald Branch does look good on the beta for AP. The settings look like they have very similar ones to red, and I'm really excited to try it. Just a cleaner Pokemon game, right? As expected, Gen 1 was not supposed to be a game. It was just released to see if it would drum up interest. Gen 2 was supposed to be the, the starting game, and damn, is it a good starting game. Here I am, clattering around with a Fero. Just punch the Wigglytuff in the face, AMA. I guess his whole body's its face, isn't it? I guess. It is up there. It is definitely up there for me. They got a lot of things right in Gen 3. In my opinion. And the water thing doesn't bother me. I just appreciate that they were accurate with the region to represent there's a hell of a lot of water in the region.
My girlfriend and I have been talking. We haven't seen Pokemon news. It's starting to be a little weird. We haven't heard anything about a Pokemon Direct or anything like that because we have no game announced for 2024. Considering that the DLC has been moved to December 14th, it is a bit. It is a bit interesting. I don't know how to feel about it. Because I'm not bothered that they might be taking their time to build better games. Or slowing down so they could build better games. Like, I'm I'm okay with that. It's just a little bit silent on the part. And of course, the dramatics, the dramatic individuals would be like, Well, this is the decline of Pokemon. It's like, well, you know what? They started declining in Gen 9 anyway, so. <laughs> Cut your losses while you're... Cut your losses if you're already looking at it. Yeah, just giving us time for Power World. I mean, honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm kind of glad we don't have a, po a Pokemon game come out in January, because all of 2020, not all of 2024, but a lot of 2024, at least for the first couple of months, or months, is Power World. Guaranteed you're seeing that on this channel. If I'm in a hospital bed, you're going to watch me play fucking Power World. I don't care. This is like Monster Sanctuary levels of excitement for me, where I was so excited for Monster Sanctuary. I want to- I, I'm probably gonna suck at Power World too. I don't care. The game looks too goddamn hilarious not to play. Dissida Opera Omnia. Why do I recognize the name Dissida? Opera Omnia. I don't know what that is. I guess. Is that unfortunate, or is it like a service that's just been dead for a while now? Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about, like, I think it's a Final Fantasy game, right? Yeah, it sounds like a Final Fantasy game. I don't know if Dissida re references anything in Final Fantasy, but... That's unfortunate. Do you think Square Enix is going to go the way of, of uh, Activision Blizzard? Where, like, they'll just be Final Fantasy fourteen as much as Blizzard is essentially just World of Warcraft now? I understand Diablo 4 came out and all that crap, but let's be real. You think Blizz, you think World of Warcraft. You don't think Diablo. Of, of current games that are alive, because StarCraft, HOTS, all that was great. Don't get me wrong, Hearthstone, but you think WoW. Literally. Do you th could you see Squeenix going that way? I, it's it's a real like I I keep hearing nothing but praises for Final Fantasy fourteen. Final Fantasy sixteen was kind of like a solid was just kind of like a solid release. Nothing overly special. Nothing overhyped. Just kind of there. Yeah, the Final Fantasy seven will keep them going. I have a feeling that's probably gonna be maybe there. Out, I guess I don't have a better word for it. Where like if they if they remake games, but they remake them as three parts cinematics. Because like Final Fantasy eight, nine, and ten, if I recall, are incredibly long games. I mean they're all long games, but of games of that have stories. Oh my god! No, I don't want Thunder. Thunderbolt, I'd consider it. I'd stare at my build for about a minute, see if I could fit it. Probably not. I think Psychic Ice Beam is going to be as good as we're going to get for the, the coverage. Even though Bolt Beam is good. Actually, Bolt Beam would probably be better. That's the only thing I'd replace it with. Not Thunder, though. It has to be Thunderbolt. Well, that's the thing, Suwako. Like, when I think about Final Fantasy... Like, here's the thing. I love... I love the Final Fantasy series, despite the fact I've played, like, two games from it and never finished them. Um, like, I do like the stories. And the graphics are cool. I don't need the graphics to be as pretty as Final Fantasy VII's are or whatever, right? Like, I don't need it like that. Um, I played Final Fantasy V and actually enjoyed it as a kid. Um, and I played a bit of X, enjoyed that as a teenager. I've watched people play Seven. Like, I, I like watching the story of Seven. Tifa is one of my favorite character designs. I am a big fan of just martial artists in general, so like, you know, Herschel from Legend Dragoon, stuff like that. Like, I'm just big fan of the of the punchy people. Punchy and kicky people. But, um... Like, if, if, if Squeenix just says, alright, we're gonna take all the games that people want remakes of and just turn them into three-part cinematics, they'll be there for the next pff, 20 years.
But if they remake that laugh scene, Suwaka, what I want them to do is just break the fourth wall, get the voice actor for Titus, Titus, whatever, and um, just have them laughing in an open room. Like, just have them in a room with nothing but white walls and just break to the person... Um, just break to the person in the recording booth just doing the laugh and going all out on it. That's the only acceptable remake I'll take. <laughs> Hey, Camilla, this isn't a Nuzlocke. Uh, we're just practicing for a marathon that I'm in on December 6th called Node Holidays Allowed. We will be doing a multi-world with Shawnee, Hero, and Pruden, and I'm practicing my game Pokemon Red. So this is a speedrun. Uh, all of the items and badges and everything have been shuffled around. Uh, it's a very custom build of randomizer settings where I have done overworld trainers excluded but it's still trainer sanity which means trainers inside dungeons or locked behind HMs can still give me items. So yeah just get an echo go oh my goodness you get an entire like Shia LaBeouf orchestra just all doing the Titus laugh. Why is it Titus? His name is spelt like Tide. Kind of, actually, it's T-I-D-U-S, but you know what I mean. I guess so they spelled a T-I-D-E-S, be titties, or tidies. Tidies. He's just a maid, you didn't know? But yeah, our first, our, our Nuzlocks are on hold until December, December 1st. We'll be starting the Ultimate Noob Challenge on Friday. That will be our, unfortunately, very weird way to start December, because we're going to be starting that, but then, like, we're going to have one day of December... And then we're going to have half December, half marathon practice until the marathon's done. Then we'll be back into December. And then December 14th will be a half December. Actually, it won't even be half December. We have the DLC. Um, which I think it'll be like Crown Tundra, probably two days max on stream. And then we just go back to December. Oh, really? They're actually inconsistent? I didn't know that. Wow. That's unbelievable. Maybe that's Maybe that's the joke. It's like Pokemon pronunciations. Although they copped out, because I was watching Pokemon Go Internationals, the the Latinum, the Latin ones, just because competitive Pokemon Go is. I don't want to say a joke in a bad way. It's just it's it's like watching darts, where you can see impressive skill, but you just want to drink while watching it and dress up in costumes. That's what I would do for Pokemon Go. If I could, I'd just whip out a bottle of whiskey and just get just get a couple of shots going while watching that. Oh, do you? Well, luckily the DLC isn't going anywhere, so it'll be there for when you're good for it. But yeah, I was watching it, and they did like they did like a stalling game, where uh, they're like, it's time to figure out Pokemon's pronunciations. But they didn't do anything like Scizor or Rayquaza or Zatu or stuff like that. It's supposed to be Zatu. I'm never saying that. I don't care if Ox is right; they'll never get the satisfaction of me saying Zatu. Unironically. Um, but they gave him Pokemon like Skeledurge, Meow Skarada, like stuff you can't mess up. I'm like, you bastards. If you're going to do a pronunciation game with people who play Pokemon on the regular, but you're not going to give him Pokemon that have like controversial sayings to make it sound like an actual conversation. Or kind of get like that. See, you have this, this, uh, this regional saying of it. Fucking Skeledurs. How would you mess up Skeledurs? What would you say? Skeledurgy? Yeah, like Aaron. It's Aaron. But, like, I'm trying to think of, like, what, what would they messed up with the Poco? They showed Weepin' Bell, too? Like, Weepin' Bell is, is it's, you literally just say its name phonetically. There's nothing you could do wrong with Weepin' Bell. Weepin' Bell? Like, 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 I don't know. Weepin' Beal? At that point, you're just not reading the letters in the name. Like, it has to be about we easing. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, it's a catch-a-thon anyways, Camilla, so you're not going to be... I don't think you're going to be missing too much content, like, or missing out on the hype, right? This is this is the... We injected the remainder of the Gen 9 Pokedex into the game. DLC. Which is why I'm sure a lot of people will be spending time on it. Shiny hunting and doing everything else, but... I'll take the Max Ether, thank you.
Like, the DLCs for me are not the most... I, I, I look at them as a creator, and I probably buy them just as a Pokemon fan regardless. For me, like, DLCs are just not what I'm looking for. They either boost up competitive or catching, and I'm neither. I just like playing through Pokemon games. I like spending 80 bucks to get my monster collecting fix. Not named Digimon, because I just don't get Digimon or the hype around Digimon. I don't have any power points. I'm not going to use an elixir. I don't think I have many items, and my, my power points are pretty low on this move set. 310 PP moves is quite ridiculous. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fight Misty's gym, get my power points back, and then invest into going through Nugget Bridge the best I can. Or insert sponsorship bridge. I'd actually like strength early here. More power points, slightly boost and stab. Boosted and stab. It's a great move. Actually, it's four 10 power point moves. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of... We're going to have to use... Oh, man, going through rock tunnels is going to be a pain. Oh, there you go. Easy. Man, going through rock tunnel first? That's going to be rough for us. If it was later, sure. Just hope for some, for some ethers, I suppose. This is where being efficient with moves is going to be important to save time. Huh. Excuse me. Sorry. And not missing Bone Meringue, because every other move is 100% accurate. Yeah, we got the I Want to Be a Guy time finale coming up this week, unless we spend two days on Ganna's Castle. December starting. Chat, we're at the end of the year. January, we celebrate our ninth year being on Twitch. Absolutely stuns me that I'm still here. And I mean that, because the number of people that have told me to quit who are, like, pseudo-experts or have gotten more successful in this space than me... Uh, you'd think I should just roll over and be like, yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, I'm stubborn and like my community, so... You guys are cool. I'm not going anywhere. Sorry! You're gonna have to hold off on finding other daytime entertainment. Because you're mine right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's an open relationship. You can go find any other streamers you want to watch at the same time. I won't judge. getting a call. I don't know who that is. Nope. Yeah, we got 35 moves to get through Sponsored Bridge. I didn't put up the new block. I will put the new block of the year voting up, by the way. I I'm going to be dead honest with you. Uh, because I've been feeling well, I've said fuck work, and I just started playing video games. Uh, sorry, not sorry, but like... I think I just needed the reboot. And then keeping myself happy even just for a couple of days when I'm feeling good. So when you have those flashes of brilliance, so you don't want to let go of them. I currently have the freedom to grab those uh, flashes of brilliance. But you will have that vote tonight. Because I'll be forced to, because I'm going to be waiting for people to finish my map. So I can do like a bunch of admin work. Actually, no, I can't because you guys will be watching people on Discord. Hmm. I'll do it between the break. Like tonight, I, I know I keep saying it, I know I keep being wrong, but like tonight is the night that I can be on time. 
Because if we get this done quick enough and I go shave, make a little bit of food and stuff like that, we could be on time and start actually at 5.30. I believe. I'm a big sucker for believing. It happens broken, right? Like, sometimes... Especially with people who overwork themselves. Like, I'm, I'm a workaholic, right? I, I, I am a workaholic. And I have trouble relaxing. And the moment that I'm in the mood to relax, I immediately feel guilty about it. And for some people, it's the opposite, where you're, you're ready and you're finally, like... You've, you've put in the effort to get through the other things and you're ready to do what you want to do. And then you're just like... No. <laughs> Brain suddenly said no. And it sucks. It's, it's, it's shitty. Burnout and, and over, being overworked and everything just blows. Yeah. I mean, what I've worked... I mean, it, it's different from other people. Wait, wait, wait. What's our sponsor today? Thank you. Poke Ball Bridge. Balls indeed. Um, what I found in the past that helped with at least creator burnout was you just kind of throw all metrics to the wind. Especially if you're not living off it, right? Like, it's very easy when you're not living off of creator income, even though I kind of am. But back when times were different what helped me through burnout was i just kind of threw caution to the wind and said screw whatever my normal content is i'm just gonna literally go online do what i feel like talk as much as i want and if people want to question just to drum up conversation awesome but like i just kind of do what i want not think about what the content is just kind of fire it up it's actually kind of how variety started on this channel variety started because of burnout not because it was a. Uh, a business move. I just literally was getting tired of Nuzlocking and playing Pokemon TCG and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's just, let's just, uh, whatever. I'm going to whip out Maple Story or some, or some shit and just started playing random games. And it helped through burnout because the work side of me couldn't control what happened that night. I was taking, it was like a mental health break for me. Hey, world leader. What's up, man? I, I didn't get to catch you on Zeph's stream last night. I saw you talking, and then I got in right as my uh, right as my whatever organ was like, yeah, you're going to be in pain now. I'm like, that's fair. Oh, there you go. I mean, take it from me. I really, I really do want to keep hitting... 3k from charity this year i'll be really happy if we hit 2k even so i'll be happy with what we've gotten this year the the charity sphere at least this year is i'm, I'm gonna risk that we can do this that's fair astral sense such a good game it's so good and i mean zeph's a great creator so you know there's that too i suppose have you seen astral sense ruako i think you really like that game it's 2d it's t it's it's side scrolling hades it actually looks like a really cool game. It's got a lot of meta progression in it, too. Like, a ton. Yeah, like, charity this year has been really tough for everyone. Numbers are not hitting marks in most places. Yeah, there you go. Like, that, that's victory for charity in any way, of course. Raising five bucks or raising 5k is all impactful no matter what. I can tell you right now that the charity sphere has been very difficult the past couple of years. The economy's not allowing for it. And frankly, I mean, that's why charity still exists, because the economy sucks. No, Dead Cells is a fair Souls-like. That's all that is. What are you learning, world leader, that's tiring you out? Just kidding. Krav Maga, I'm here to become world champion. Oh, interesting, world leader. Tell me more about your Krav Maga experience. I've broken three arms. Wait, what?
The other thing, too, which actually does affect it a lot is, is overall, like, mood, right? It's no surprise that people will donate more when they're happier. But it's not unrealistic to state when people are struggling that them keeping the money so that they can live is the correct call. Like, they, you need to live in order for you to give others, right? It's, it's the hard truth that I learned through, cha through, <laughs> through charity, through therapy. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of other otherwise you're just a broken piece of wood trying to hold a, bro a, a failing house up. Like, what's what's one more rotted piece of wood going to do for, a, for an already falling house? You know what I mean? Are you representing your company? Yeah, like, like, overall mood in the world matters quite a bit. It also depends on the charities, too. Because Cho's Miracle Network has been around for quite some time. Uh, the, my, the major issues in the world right now are a lot more political in different ways. Uh, and and, and are humanitarian. I mean, it's humanitarian to help children, but you know what I mean. Like, like the, the, the needs for what people are, are donating towards if they have the little bit of cash that they can afford is going to be going to other places. That affects it as well. I'm no effort. I'm no expert on it, but like, I've paid attention to what's been happening in the world. And item. Nope. One, two, three, four. Here, here, here. Step back. Man, you know, I can't wait for Gen Three to pick up on my inputs because Gen One doesn't like inputs. It just does not want you to pick up invisible items when you're running. I guess, to be fair, you are moving, like, at double the frame, so it probably doesn't pick up when you're not walking properly. I gotta remember, this game doesn't actually have a run feature. <laughs> oh, the ad? Yeah. Yeah, we have, uh... Are you still in ads? Man, I really don't catch the fact that my stream is playing ads. If you're a sub, you don't get it with ads. Ad free viewing. Should you be able to afford it, of course. I'm curious to see. Uh, uh, after November, I'm going to compare it to a good year or a good month where I streamed a lot. Because I keep track of my streams, right? So I'm going to compare it to a good, a good time when I did manual ads compared to the automatic ads. See if there is a significant difference in the amount of money that I made. A couple of bucks isn't going to make it worth it, you know what I mean? But if it is, from the stories that I read people saying around my concurrent viewership where I was already making more money, for because you guys are spectacular, and you let ads play, um, I was already making a fair amount of money. Wait, what am I doing? Why did I... Oh my god, I just completely autopiloted. Actually, I wanted to get the underground, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go grab these items. And then we're going to warp back and then just go straight down to Saffron, straight over to Rock Tunnel. <laughs> I was just like, what am I doing? Where am I going? I have I have tea. It's because these items are out of the way. Here, and then we walk up. Ah. Man, I'm curious to see. Like, like I was already making more money from ad revenue than most people do. And it's amazing, when you just get people used to ads being played on your channel, people complain less. It's Isn't that, isn't that fascinating, chat, when you just tell people, like, hey, ads aren't that scary? Like, people just don't bitch and whine about it. It's pretty cool. It's almost like we have decently 
commonsensical human beings who want to see someone make just a little bit of food money and not complain about a couple of minutes of ads. Especially when you have a community that sh that lurks and works. Like, I don't know. Ah, oh, that sucks, Broken. Okay, but competitive games should not have ads being played. That's that's weird. That is strange. That should not be happening. Uh, there is a way to do this, actually. Is there a way to do this? What's my best way of doing this? Hold on. Let's work this out. Uh, if I want to go through all of Celadon... Then I could take... Hmm. There's no good way of doing this. There was no better way of doing this. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab Mr. Psychic. We're not going to fight... Um, fighting Dojo guys yet. Still a little too weak for that. Play competitive laws. I mean, but that's, that's how they make their money, right? They're not worried about the ad revenue. That's just a bonus to them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Mafungu, let's go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Step, step, shit. Ah! So close. I had it, just didn't read my input. Unfortunate. Yeah, like, banner ads aren't terrible. But yeah, usually competitive people, like, the ads are just either they're sponsored and they have to, like, like whatever contract agreement they have which with their company, they have to play ads. Ads are not the way they're making money. They're making ad revenue as uh, proportion to us, I would, or I would probably assume. I would probably assume. That makes no fucking sense. I would assume. But, like, competitive players, on average, are not talking to their chat until in between games and then even then like it's it's a different world it's definitely a different world it's not a worse world it's just not one that i think you would find within the opinion of the majority of streamers or content creators you would interact with in your in 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 our communities harry you know what i mean unless you do someone who was a competitive player oh whoa, 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 wee, whoa. hold on hmm Chase the hideout key? May as well, I'm here, right? Chase the hideout key? Man, they gave me flash and T so early. This feels like it's a waste of time, but I'm gonna I think I'm gonna chase the hideout key. We're right here, right? My favorite song from TMNT. That pissed off Harry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, the lesson truth. If we could choose which ones we got, like, that would be something I would consider. If they let us choose what ads were played, um, she's, former, she's a former employee. She's just a thirsty former Rocket executive. Back in the day when they were being extra scumbags and trying to recruit children to their cause. She's like, you gave me a soda pop? Is this our code? Is this the code word that Team Rocket uses here? Have the key, you can go. Even though I still have to beat a guy up, it's blocking my way. Yeah, like if I got to choose which ads, I would choose the least intrusive ads. But that's not up to us because Twitch gets paid for certain kinds of ads, so if they don't have those ads, then like they have to play whatever they have. That's what makes YouTube ads so much better is just YouTube gets a lot more ads given to them. And they get to play them and you can have skippable ads. Twitch can't do skippable ads. I haven't found a way yet. Or I guess they just won't do as well revenue-wise. Live content sucks. There's a reason why live content's like... 
the second last thing you worry about in the chain of content creation. If you're really trying to maximize revenue, you're you're leaving content creation to like the second last thing you focus on or focus people down into. A lot of us do it wrong. A lot of us also just work within our means. If I pay for coaching and my coaching and the coaching tells me to make one video a day, I'm gonna need a lot more time than what I have, especially in my current situation. Also, the fact that I'm really bad at making videos, and they make me super nervous and piss me off. That's why I pay people off like broken. Like, paid about to, you know, as employees. But they don't choke about us for the longest time. Like, dude, you want to make, like, if you have time, please, let's, let's work together. I'll, I will pay. If it starts having an ROI, I'm okay with that. I'm just using buzzwords, completely knowing what I'm talking about. That OMG barbecue ROI. WTF lol. You know? Alright, at least Special Firo is getting work done here. With 40 power points total. Yeah, I don't think, like, like speedruns... Speedruns are awkward with ads. Like, it, it's really, it really is content-dependent with what you have to worry about with ads, right? The, the games that I play, they're not so fast-paced you have to worry about missing things, which is kind of the reason, like, on top of the fact that I wanted the better revenue split. It didn't really... It didn't really feel like... You're gonna be missing a whole bunch. I'm not PB chasing or anything like that, so you're just kind of like missing two or three minutes of a, of a three-hour speedrun at a time. You're missing like six or seven minutes total gameplay, so it's not like the worst thing in the universe. Ah, uh, if you were more physical, I'd go for SD, and if it also wasn't Gen 1, because if you get crits, it ignores your stat changes. Rough one to run. Cool, broken. I went the wrong way again. Actually, we're gonna catch that item on the way out. The reason why I do it like that, chat, despite the fact he'll, like it's almost the same distance, is I move faster to him than he moves faster to me. In normal Pokemon, I believe if you don't have that speed up run feature, it's fine to just like let them catch you because the animation of them doing the exclamation and walking over adds up to about the same. It's very minimal, and if you mess it up, you lose time. So, I guess what I remember, like even in Lavender Tower, you'll notice that I don't try and go for the closest. Like I could save a tiny bit of time. It's, it's like half seconds, whatever. Good rod. It's probably a foolish chase. Two key items out of it, though. If we get surf and then we get sent to Cerulean Cave, whatever, right? Yeah, I asked. I asked for a backup drive for my birthday. I didn't put that on throne. Damn. For my birthday and Christmas, I asked for a backup drive. I don't think I'm getting it. I might get a rice cooker, maybe. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Might not get anything. You never know. Just how it would be. Santa sure as shit hasn't been paying out recently. Ooh, no. Fly, huh? All right, so with Fly, that means we do have Indigo Plateau unlocked as our free Fly point. So, hmm. could go look for a stronger main. Don't think we need to. Our levels are pretty good, and it's kind of hard to ignore how strong this guy is.
But we do have that open to us. So if we get strength, we have to immediately go to Victory Road. Not that much else has been opened up, but I think at this point we've been chasing wildly for next to no reason. Although, not necessarily getting punished for it because we did get fly. And that is very good for us not having to worry about warping anymore. So this will actually... Excuse me. This will actually add up to a little bit of time saved. Overall. We were because here's the thing, we weren't be able to get, we weren't gonna be able to get to Indigo Plateau if we didn't get Surf and Strength in the same spot or along the way. Miami, good to see you, man. How you doing? For Liz? Who's Liz? Why am I blanking on who that is? Yeah. Abra's just a little psychic boy in this one. Got it? Brains are weird. Ooh, come on, Gen 1. Stop being you. Don't be you. Be better. Be Gen 2. Hey, nice, Miami. Good luck. So we've done everything in here. Now we can escape rope. Now finding flying here is going to save us a little bit of time. Time save has been ruined. It's not going to save us time. It's just like... Because I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to be doing all of my soul searching right now and, and teaching stuff. So, like, we're not going to officially save time, but we have fly and fly over time. We'll save time. Right, this isn't the time to use that. Anybody see a, a flying seal anywhere? You think you've seen pigs fly? Wait till you see seals fly. They look like birds for some reason. I'm still not going to fight the raw. I'm still not going to fight these guys until I get a little bit more levels. Once we get the levels from Dude McRock Tunnel Bros, we'll be good to go into that if we have to. I'm expecting to fully find strength somewhere along the lines in here. Because that's the only other progression I can see. This might just be a very straightforward seed. Indigo Plateau Fly Point is generally pretty straightforward. I haven't found it to throw me for a loop at any point because you literally can't do victory road backwards without strength so nor can you go through victory road normally without surfing strength so i fully expect to find strength next if i find surf next fascinating and kind of hilarious i'm going it doesn't matter anymore right yeah i'm not gonna um Let's hit up Morning Girl. All of this is open. I just want to make sure we get all the loose ends. Could be Lavender Tower. Very well could be Lavender Tower. Oh, nice. There you go. How are your points looking for the uh, championships? I don't know why. I'm... Actually, well, we're low on power points. In general, not from that one fight. Just have maximum power points. I think we should have enough. I think I saw enough elixirs on us now. We can just start being more item reliant. Just half. 
happening in here? Ugh. So open. Hate it. Oh, yeah? That's fair. That's fair. I follow a few people who play competitively. And man, I never realized how expensive it can get. Like, it even looks like winning. You have to be basically top in the world to go. Otherwise, <laughs> the way that the system works, it kind of makes it like the worse you are, the more money you have to pay to enter to probably just die anyways. You know what I mean? It's a weird system. I want to say akin to sport, but it's not necessarily the same thing because you pay for training in sports. And depending on what type of quality you can afford, that's what you get, I suppose. But just it's just really funny to me. Oh my god, there's three here. It's just interesting to me where it's like you pay to enter these regionals to get points, right? The ones that are worth points. But like if you don't do well, you have to pay to enter more if you really want to go to Worlds. Whereas people who are winning, on average, right? Like if you're looking at, let's say, top four in the world or whatever. Like they're paying kind of the minimal amount, but they're also paying for the deck and everything else. So maybe it adds up to about the same. But the worse you do, the more expensive it is. It's basically more expensive to be bad. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better way, but it's, it's just really funny to me like I wonder if they did it sort of a series thing where they're like okay here's 16 events right kind of do like a a bracket stage search where you pay one lump sum for 16 different events and then of those 16 different events you have to earn the maximum amount of like like a certain number of points to make it into worlds you know what I mean but that's what I'm saying broken I mean okay they get paid back I guess to enter but to also get the championship points to enter worlds it just sounds strange to me, you know? Almost seems like a gamble, in a sense, based on skill. I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I mean? It just, it just, it looks weird. Sports, you enter different leagues, try and get scouted, stuff like that. You do pay for that, to an, in an extent, right? You're paying for opportunities, and this is the same thing. You're paying to earn opportunities. It's just funny to think about. Especially when people say that esports and sports don't have crossovers. I'm like, I don't know, man. I pay for card sleeves, you pay for cleats. If your idea of, of it's not a crossover is the difference in price, shit. Sometimes sports can be just as expensive as esports. All sports have a cost, and they're damn pricey. Oh, there you go. But that works out, right? Then someone else who entered for five bucks is out five bucks. And the more they have to do that, the more it can add up. Maybe I'm thinking this stuff is more expensive than it actually is, because I just think card games, I think your wallet's empty. <laughs> Especially if you're playing competitively. But the problem is I'm comparing it to MTG players. I know Pokemon's, like, all card games are expensive, but I'm comparing it to MTG people who I used to know who went for world championships where their decks were $1,700. And instead of them proxying to practice, they just fucking buy the cards. I'm like, you are such a waste of economy. Jesus Christ. I don't play proxies because it's not proper gameplay, so I'll pay 200 bucks and two four cards first. To then test to see if my deck is good. Then I'll go online and play for free, but I'm going to buy the cards anyways just to have them in case they become good one day. Yeah, because, you know, the patch notes for the cards are going to come out in the form of they just take your card, rescan it, make it better. No, no, what's going to happen is they'll reprint it, nerfed or buffed. One day the card will be good and my investment will work. That paid off for one card for me. That was Dark Depths. Bought it for seven. It's worth like 60 now. Maybe less, but the point is I made a profit that I'll never make because the card's beat up. Why? Because I didn't play with sleeves. I think I just heard someone pass out in the back. Can someone go check on that card player? 
I've never seen so much empathy for a piece of cardstock. <laughs> Man, you guys should see. Have I ever shown you? No, I've shown you my Pokemon Masters uh, box, right? Like, I've shown you what the state of my Pokemon Masters board game is, where it's literally a pancake. The game still plays. Yeah, sure, a bunch of cards are ripped and stuff like that. Who gives a shit? It plays. Yes, I know. I'm not saying anything about the cards. I'm just saying back when I played with people who were professionals, they would squeal like they've seen a mouse running into their bowl of rice or some shit. I don't care. Sanctioned, I'm... I get it. I'm not going to say sanctioned should not be clean because there, there are multiple reasons for card sleeves to prove integrity of cards and stuff like that. I don't care about that. I'm saying when I played casually, I just found it. Like, I've talked about the times when I got yelled at... at, at at shops playing casually with my proxies and they'd be pissed because I didn't spend three thousand dollars on my cards. I just played with hoity toity assholes, I guess. Bunch of people with too much money and not enough common sense and decency. If you're that kind of person, I'm not calling you out. I'm just I'm just saying, like Shout out to that Black Wings Yu-Gi-Oh player. That 12-year-old that I absolutely changed his life, hopefully for the better, but most likely not. Yeah, exactly, world leader. Like, uh, proxies are not a bad thing. There's five bucks for charity. Well, that was the thing, Harry. Like, it's so weird. Like, your skill was walled by how much you could afford to have a chance to have skill. Like, that's so fucking pretentious. Is that the word? Like, you're better than me because you have more money? Dude, I can go outside and have many people tell me that. Like, shut up. I'm playing games. I don't play games to have people throw their wallets at me. I play games to have people throw their skill at me. Like, stop. When I want a skill check, I'll go play For the King. Like... Or I'll go play my board game because I have skill checks. Yeah, exactly. That's why I played rogue decks. Like I had to play on, a, I had to play on a budget. I had to find alternatives. Like you know, some people would play a three-two flying lifelink nightcrawler or whatever night stalker, and I would be playing like a one-one life steal guy, and they'd be like, "Well, why not just get night stalker?" I'm like, "I can't afford six bucks on one fucking card. I can afford four cards for one dollar, <laughs> so I'll play the weaker version, but you'll lose more." Okay, you want to pay for my cards then, so we have a, so I stand a chance. <laughs> Like, that was the one thing that people never took. It's like, okay, if you want my deck to be better and you want to play against a stronger friend, why don't you buy the cards that make my deck stronger? I can make a bad call still on the meta, but you've made bad calls and you bought cards that for, for like, ridiculous prices and it, you just ended up sleeving them and putting them in your, your binders after the trade. Buy me the card that will help me stand a better chance. Buy me the 3-2 Flying Lifelink over my 1-1 Lifelink. Let's see then. No, that's not how that works. Well, of course. You're not going to pay for my cards, and you can't complain that I'm a worse player if I have worse cards. Like, that's... I played on budget. Okay, but, like, why were people policing it to be to begin with, Harry? Like, why were they... If in, non, in sanctioned events, I get it. They need to make money. In non-sanctioned events, that's casual play. That's like saying, okay, now we're allowing in this park for you to throw a ball around. Like, the fact that that's even a question or something that has to be allowed is so fucking strange. Unless people are starting to actually turn it into a cultural shift where it's pissing people off. Oh, had they really? I didn't know that. Maybe that's why I've dealt with so many assholes. Was they were wizards of the dick riders. Like... I don't like using that term, my apologies. But, like, that's what it feels like. Maybe maybe I just dealt with people who are so hardcore on the way that wizards thought that... I just didn't know it, and that made things that made things more awkward for me playing and making friends. Oh, dude, that's why I love playing. I, I, if, I could re, if I could find my Continuous Destruction Punch deck again broken, I'd play Yu-Gi-Oh! just to use my Continuous Destruction Punch deck. I miss that deck. 
I don't remember where it is. I don't I don't know how I lost it. Maybe the Blackwings Yu-Gi-Oh player set like a Nintendo Ninja or Konami Ninja to steal my deck in the middle of the night. I don't have any I, I have my agents deck, which is part proxy, because I couldn't afford the full agents. No no I did afford the full agents deck. But a lot of cards are out of meta now, right? We're not going to heal. We don't have to do any fights going this way. Two fights, but we can do it with two fights. Like, it's just, it's so... It's so bizarre to me how, how you could get heated over that. Could you imagine? Like, think about it this way. This is what I think of. Imagine going to a fighting tournament, like a fighting community tournament, like Smash Bros. or Street Fighter, and then people looking at you and being like, you have to play stick. If you don't play stick board, if you don't play joystick or a fight board, you're not allowed to enter. Like, what if I'm better on controller? What if I'm just there to play? Or my favorite was when they banned certain characters, but it's, like, not a money tournament. They'd be like, yeah, this tournament, you're not allowed to play this, this, and this. And I'm like, why? Because you guys don't like playing against those characters? Like, fuck you. If that's your weakness, I suddenly stand an advantage to tear down your ego. Let me play it. Wait, fight sticks actually aren't allowed anymore? Are you serious? Or are you saying, like, that's the counter-argument? Or are my feelings taken into this account? What if I don't like you having the advantage with fight sticks? Yeah, like, I get, I get that point, Broken. To be fair, I get that. At the same time... I get it, it's not like, like, in, in a business perspective... Hey, Jesus. Oh, wow. I guess we're climbing... Tower? I'm gonna go fight the black belts first. I did get T, which let me to saffron, which might lead to progression. That's kind of strange, actually. It's another, it's another tower st stick. I have no idea what Zudi. Oh wow, Zoo's coming back. Ooh. Non first parties a lot. Oh really? Oh. Oh, and that's all of them now, right? Because of the re the thing they recently did to Smash to kill the like kill everything competitive about it. Yeah, similar to how people can't play on Melee's uh, Project M or whatever anymore. What a ridiculous... I Again, it's one of those... I get it, but also I don't want to sympathize with Nintendo. Like, I just... <sighs> Companies need to make money. Also, you make more money when you make more people happy. But, like, like, the way that I think about it with proxies and card games is I could have bought those cards at any other store, and I just showed up at your store because you have better players that I want to, or I have friends at that store. You would never know. They're not marked. I get the whole pressure point of, like, sales by having you in the store and you want to play, so you have to buy stuff from the store right there and there, right? I get the, I get the basic concept of marketing, I hope, by this point. Yeah, because it won't make them enough money, Suwako. They've already stated that. Eh. I don't know. It kind of gives the illusion that they're, like, three steps ahead in marketing, but at the same time, like, we know they're not. <laughs> Maybe we just don't know enough about business, but, you know, Nintendo is an old man company. In, in terms of they don't like seeing grassroot initiatives their way is the best way. I've run this business for 40 years and I know what's best because we're still on top because we convince a lot of players to keep buying our stuff and frankly, we don't do anything better. We buy all their shit. You're supporting Nintendo, despite the fact that they hate streamers, you're supporting Nintendo by watching me play Pokemon. I'm playing a 1996 game that I own. And while they hate that, it's advertisement. Oh yeah, Nintendo Legal is... I I don't know enough about Legal to know how bad it is, but I'm sure a lot of companies are similar to that. Really? It is Tower? Okay. Well, poo-poo to me too, I guess. 
Another tower seed. Alrighty. Fair enough. I chased the tea. The tea burned. No burn heal for that one. I mean, it's very similar to... I don't know. I... I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough about it, right? I don't think any of us know enough about it unless we work in the industry. Harry would be the closest one to be able to speak on these on these things, but even then, like, Harry had his own separate sector and knows mostly about the monetization of his own games in mobile. But based on what I've talked with Harry, I get the impression, like, there's just a lot of things we don't know when it comes to, like, this would be better for the community, but clearly... As consumers, we're thinking from the consumer and a fair standpoint. We're not thinking from how much money it would make them. Despite the fact that there are times where we can sit there and go, yeah, like, Melee on, on Switch would make them a lot of money in my head. Like, if, if you're going to sanction this, maybe that's their go-ahead. They're going to do it, but I don't know. They'd have to build online, and Nintendo really hates people using the World Wide Web in the year 2023. They've hated us for years on that. It's my favorite complaint that I agree with wholeheartedly. Or just like Nintendo has never figured out online, and I have no idea why they haven't. I didn't think it'd be that complicated in our Lord and Savior year 2023. There's something going on there. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? I I, I don't know. a lot of money. I can't use fake currency. I got crypto. I don't think the expansion pass... Would be a good idea, though, Broken. I don't I don't think people would... I think that might drive more people to still just go back to Project M. People are still pretty touchy about service base things. And they should be, because service base is, like, part of the reason why a lot of MMOs died. Monthly subscriptions are tough. You might make it off of a lot of melee players, but I think you still just get top melee players. Unless I don't understand the fighting community and how diehard they are to actually, like, get their asses whooped and they never become popular and want to pay 20 bucks a month to play a fighting game. Maybe I just don't know enough about people. I don't know if that would sell, per se. How is, how is the expansion these days? Like... Are there good enough games on there that people are using Expansion Pass? I know Xbox has been pretty hit or miss, but, like, it's very easy to go off and on it, right? They ca Oh, okay. All right. They carry CRTs? There's got to be a better way. I just want to see three... I just want to see three 20-year-old guys carrying a fucking... Self-scopes in tower again?! Why? What the fu- I don't have card key. What's happening? What else am I getting in here? Is it gonna be like... Half self code to progression? Jesus. Ew. I'm not getting out of here in time. Harry, we're starting at 7 your time. I'm kidding. We're not. Don't worry about it. I'll make it work. Oop. Not if I forget this item, though. But like, is there, en are there enough- like, is there enough in it to make it worth? I don't even know what the price of it is at this point. Plus, I'm not a person who goes back and plays. I can't... I, I don't switch between games very frequently. Like, I play one game for, like, three or four days, then I'll go play another game. But, like, it's tough for me to have that many games at my disposal and be like, Yeah, I'm paying ten bucks to hold on to all these. <laughs> Steam is a godsend for me. I have 200 games when I decide to sit, uh, settle on playing them again. The money does not have to be paid monthly to manage it. Here I pray to God they never put in a monthly subscription. Please don't do it, my lord. I will weep. And we'll have to raise the premiums of all the stuff in this community. 
Tax the people because of the rich. It's the only way to live, chat. You understand that. Us paupers must pay for sins of others. Deluxe pass is free? Oh, through that. That's fair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really a shame Animal Crossing lost all of its hype after the Happy Home designer thing. Like, it just died. It died so hard. Fun to play on stream. Had good memories with that with Charity. With Broken's, um, with Broken's Island ideas that he carried literally for two years. But if it depends, that makes it sound like, to me, that it's not popular to the point where... Why am I doing this? It's not popular to the point where, like, it's proving a profit. You know what I mean? Three seasons of Survivor. My apologies. Yes, three seasons. Jesus, we did three seasons. You technically did two seasons because you carried that whole thing, but... Three seasons of Survivor. I'm really glad you guys remember a lot of things that we do on this channel, because over after nine years at this point, I've written stuff down, but there are just a lot of things that I don't remember. Hi, Milo. Milo, your 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 click button yesterday didn't yield anything except everyone losing channel points. Or was that what you wanted? Uh, that's your play. <laughs> he burned chat by having a useless button. Well played, my damn. I mean, you're good at it. I didn't have any doubt. That's why I let you carry it. Oh, it definitely did, Suwako. Animal Crossing has to be like Stardew Valley and Sims. You gotta pump content out for that shit. And you did seasonal stuff, which is fine. It's just, it, it just kind of fell off really hard. It just, it just plummeted like a rock. They brought out updates. Just not nearly enough keep people going with it. They can't go back to it now. Hi. Two escape rooms in a row. What the? Hold on. He seems to have lost his way to the litter box. Let's see if he needs to go to the bathroom. Chat playing it. clipped. You're a, you're a bit heavy when I have pain in my stomach. He likes sniffing my breath. I don't know why. Okay, up we go. You gonna go to the bathroom?
Right, that's fair, yeah. Eh, it's not a big mess up. Resume. The Ghost of Star You. Chad, I did something weird last night. I needed protein, right? I needed protein, I needed vegetables. Uh, so I made a wrap with sweet potato and salmon in it, which I'm patenting the yamen. It wasn't bad. Now you could take that as a, well, noob, your taste buds suck, and you're right, but salmon and yam kind of went well together. It just tasted like salmon and yam, which I think is a win. Oh, I love doing tournaments and marathons. That's my element. That's my jam. It's it's somewhat of a shame we had to drop the Pro Pokeball Rando for a little while. We're in the middle of a transition. We'll see what 2024 brings. I have a couple of big uh, projects I want to talk to people about. I just don't know exactly how to pitch them. Because like one of those things where it's like, I have a great idea, what would you do with it? What can you do with it? You know what I mean? I'm really good at instigating things. I can finish things too, it's just everything in the middle. I'm a big improviser. I'm the greatest project manager. Go me. Had to. I had to, Broken. I just had to. Health made it really t uh, tough, obviously. The biggest thing is the health thing. Taking one quarter of the content year out was a huge deal. But the other thing is, just... People don't play competitive on this channel anymore. We we're not a competitive community anymore. We might be competitive people, but we're not a competitive community. It just doesn't... It doesn't get the same hype. Or the hype that it does get doesn't get the doesn't get the attention of the community. We're not Harry, we're not a competitive community. We don't play competitive Pokemon like we used to. We're not starting a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. You can't make me. Okay, so what can I do here? Oh god. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sometimes you have to uh, you have the unique uh, advantage of Without any of the pressure of having to live off this stuff, you can just kind of throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Not Kaibi. Please, Bakura, calm down. Otherwise, John Tyler is going to get me. Competitive Go tournaments. Well, one thing I am toying with is potentially Archipelago tournaments. Potentially. Oh, I'm sure she will fuse with the magic D. Mm-hmm. 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 Eh? Eh? Chad, it's a sex joke. Ow. Damn it, beef. Why do you gotta get stuck in teeth? I hate that. This is gonna be tricky to get to people because I don't know the full warps yet. Although, this is that one moment actually where I would need to practice looking at these warps.
Oh, absolutely. The biggest thing was content on this channel, and I say this with backed up evidence, everything just works better when I do it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it otherwise. When I don't have to rely on other people, content just goes smoother on this channel. That's not a, that's not a fault of anyone's. It's just it's just the way it is. Right? Things just get a lot more complicated. The more people you involve, the more factors there are. And the stuff that I want to run is bigger than, like, eyes are bigger than the stomach. That's just the kind of person I am. So, like, yeah, of course it is. But, like, just reflecting on what I've been doing on this channel, if you haven't noticed, like, a lot of the, a lot of the things have been to closer friends and creators who I, who stream more often, and people, like, like, a lot of the one-offs and the ways that times have been organized this year, like, a lot more things were just a lot, I don't want to say more personalized, but just, you know the names, let's say, right? Which isn't great for expanding out to get more people involved, that's still up to me to do. When it comes to the stuff that I'm running now, it just, it's its like, we know Broken, we know Harry, we know Suwako, we know Astolia, we know Zeph, like, we know a bunch of people on this, right? Reaching out to the larger community just has brought nothing but stress. We know Ukes. How you doing, Ukes? But you know what I mean, right? Like, it's just, it, it's... Yeah, exactly. thats It's for reliability, and I think with... With having to maximize time. To maximize the time and the allocation of resources that I have for stream. Which is the majority of my time. Uh, it has to work, right? If it doesn't work, even if it doesn't feel comfortable, it feels off in any way. I have, in my mind, wasted my time. Not that there won't be issues with people who I do know. Hopefully I'm getting the right message across. Not like I'm not open to having new people join the community or join initiatives and stuff like that. I do still reach out and still look for that and make the make make proper business moves. But it's a matter of I've invested nine years into this, right? And you could say time sunk fallacy, whatnot. I I've, I've started taking advice and just be like, use what works. Push, push envelopes in other places and just use what works to have a baseline. And I think our charity has a wonderful baseline right now. We're, we're potentially going for a fifth year in a row we're raising over 2k. We just gotta get to 2k. We can do it. We're 70 bucks away. Yes, that is absolute clickbait. But we are, we are $70 away from 2k raise this year. If we can raise 2k... Like, it, the, the system works. You have a great day, world leader. Have fun at your conference, dude. You're gonna kill it. You're grabbing that conference by the balls. Don't accept their damn lemons. Send them back. I don't want your damn lemons. Just be like, just be that guy. I keep forgetting his name, but just be that guy. And give a dumbass a calculator, using better terms than what he used in the in the show. Oh yeah, scheduling is the biggest thing. Cave Johnson, what's the actor's name though? What's what's the actor's name? I love that he's so good. He's good in Closer. He's he's good in a lot of things that he does. I I don't think he I don't think I've seen anything where he misses. You know what I mean? Okay, where's my progression? J.K. Simmons, thank you. How did I forget a name like J.K. Simmons? Bad noob. God, I need something here. I'm really struggling. <laughs> What's my progression? Watch, it's gonna be card key. I'm gonna be lost. It's gonna be a full self code clear. There's another good one that I saw with, um, I forget the actor's name, not good at it, but it was another one where it's like, life gives you lemons, he was teaching people how to do marketing, and he's like, when life gives you lemons, the other guy says, get, you, you make lemonade, he goes, no, you set up a multi-million dollar campaign 
talking about how lemons is better than sex. And, like, he just goes on about it. It was like, holy crap, like... It was just so well written about... Uh, like, like the, the final message was, when I finally have made an empire, own everyone, have made a so social cultural change, then I'll make some fucking lemonade. Like, it was just such a powerful sequence. Or such a powerful scene. I don't know what show it's from, but... Let's see if I can find it. It was on TikTok. Oh, it's, uh, oh, God, the guy who plays, uh, Pike in, in the new Star Trek, or whoever Pike takes over for, whoever Kirk takes over for, Captain Pike, I think, it's that guy. It's from the show, okay, Mike Flanagan, Fall of the House of Us Here. Fell of the House of Us, I guess is the name of the show. It's really good, though. Like, it's a really good, uh... Where am I going here? Oh, God. Interesting, Yukes. We're really obsessed with lemons now. Interesting. Omni-Man's monologue with the lemon spell. Oh, well, I mean, that would work for Omni-Man, wouldn't it? I think there's someone over here I can fight from here, right? No. I'll catch him on the way. Vanilla card key? No, I took the card key? Okay, I lost track because I was looking for Mike Flanagan. Hey, whoops. I believe it is the sixth floor that doesn't have any trainers. No, seventh floor doesn't have any trainers I could do without card key? Eighth floor? It's eighth floor has nothing. Yeah, eighth floor has just trainers that I can hit. No items, that's what it was. Same thing with eleventh floor, just a trainer. How have you been, Yukes? What have you been up to these days? How's your uh, how's your D and D adventures going? This one? Yeah, it's Castlevania, yeah. Ads incoming, everybody duck. This is classy Belmont. This is like if Simon Belmont and uh, Dracula were actually just having dinner with each other. Damn, Harry. Rub your five bucks in other people's faces more. Huh? Huh? No. That's true. They did do a good version. Oh, nice. Less nice on the D on the on the mental health, but hopefully it just stays on the up. Being able to feel downs just means we are alive. If everything was up, nothing would ever be real. That's the way I see it. Except for my stomach. I wish my stomach would just always be on the up. <laughs> That's not the slippery slope I want my stomach to be on, you know? Progression? Looking for progression. Has anyone seen... My sh progression. I'm losing my progression, chat. F 
For the King 2 update. Minor back-end issue. Is it the fact that we couldn't choose talents? Okay, seriously, where the hell is my progression? Oh my god. Somebody make this happen. My lord. Reason humans have depression is that happy people didn't run away from the lions. What? I'm happy to look for the day. Why we have depression is that happy people didn't run away from the What? That doesn't what does that mean? Too happy to look for the danger signs. Why would that lead to depression? Because we have to deal with morons who lost to Darwinism? Whether on purpose or unfortunately? I don't understand. on top, isn't it? Well, it definitely is inherited, but why would they be depressed that they were looking for danger? Or are you saying because we literally deal with a with an ancestry that wants people to be in trouble? Hitman 3, nice. Enjoy. Happy people died. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm misunderstanding the words. The reason why we have depression is the people, the people who didn't have depression all died. Damn it. I knew I could blame someone who would never be able to tell me off. I mean, we are driven by a sense of improvement in the world, right? That is evolutionary. Yeah, Lax is correct. LAX. You're correct. I understood what you meant. I work with a lot of people who spell lose as W as, as L-O-O-S-E. I have learned that the English language is absolutely dumpstered. Not everyone not saying it's your native language either, but like people who have native language English, I've learned that people just don't even know their own native language anymore. So, unfortunately I've learned jank speak. It's plant key. Which means I'm getting Surf. I have to get Surf. Or something else, and that's later? I'm so lost with what this game wants from me. Other than for me to be late, bastard game. We have to chase any leads we get here, because we have nowhere else to go. Well, there you go. Exactly. That's imp that's so impressive, Hughes. That's awesome. But yeah, LAX, LAX. Either way. Do you have people in your family who believe that if you don't have children, you're fucking over human society? Just curious. You don't have to answer that. Because I have people like that in my extended family, where they believe if you don't have children and push on the family line, like, you are literally fucking society over. Regardless of what you want. You speak pretty well, Suwako. Is the people who have native English who speak it worse than the people who learn it? They're like, yeah, it's not that great. I'm like, you speak better than 45% of the people that I deal with on a regular basis that I know were born here. Because <laughs> you learned it to survive, or we just take it for granted. Say in truth. Fight me! Rocket Man! Da 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 da. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. You haven't watched it yet. It's a good movie to watch. The guy from Kingsman nails it very well. I still have to watch Oppenheimer. I haven't been able to watch that yet. I know it's not the most representative of the entire story of Oppenheimer. It's more of a drama, but like, I do like I do like that actor, the main the the lead protagonist. There's a few actors in there. Robert Downey's in there and stuff like that. So. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road, Rocket Man, 
Saturday night's all right for fighting. All the popular ones, you know. Oh, that's what I've been told, you, because I am the last man in my family. And I... I don't have interest in having children. I don't. I did, and I just it just kind of waned over time. For me. I was pretty much made feel the made feel made to feel bad about it. If my mind ever went that way. At the same time, it's like, well It's a tough conversation. I would even say, though, if you don't know anything about Elton John, it is a good historical drama about him. Like, it is a good movie, whether you know enough about Elton John or not. Like, I don't know very much of anything about Elton John, but it is a well-done movie, in my opinion. Oh, wow. Okay, so this trainer has to have something because there's nothing left the only thing that it would be is i have to warp to second floor lady i have to do some warps to some trainers there's like five or six things i can check with open warps i'm gonna need to pull out the the guide for because i don't know it well enough i will have some things open during the run b is on level three okay Oh yeah, he's, he's sung with a lot of people. He did a ton of collaborations. The man was all over the place, it was great. He's an incredibly good artist. With zero fucks to give about what anyone thinks of him. Do we get the... Nope, okay, we're searching, so... First things first, we gotta go to the third floor, and we gotta warp to the second floor. Alright. With gorillas? I don't think I've heard that one. It's this warp here. That'll bring me to the woman that has been stuck. Alright, what else have we got? Second floor trainer. Let's see, where's C? Level six? Oh, this is not gonna. This is not a clean. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to route this. This is a little bit much to route. This would take a lot of time for me to route. Card keyless Silphco. I can't even beat Silphco, so I. This is just me catching the stray checks. Oops. One of their newer songs. You mind posting it in the friends Discord, Suwako? I'm curious now, or just post it in my Discord. It's going to be Plant Key Surf, or it's just going to be Strength. Locked behind Self-Locked Self-Scope. Or self -prog or just Automatic Progression Self-Scope. Thinking it might be Strength. Which then would have forced me to hide out to go grab Fly to go there. I don't know. We'll see. If we get Surf right now, it'd be kind of cute, but we also have zero badges. Which is another interesting seed that we're getting almost two hours into with no badges. What is happening? Okay, fourth floor trainer. That I have to warp from M? Which is on the tenth floor, which I can't get to. I need to go to N. So four. Oh my god. So I gotta go four to ten. Back to four? Who designed this place? You know, over here, hit this one up, to then hit, you're not, you're not an item. Hit this one up, to then fight this guy, on the, on the fourth floor. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem, is he got so fancy with the warp tiles, that we just found out, oh, you can just go third floor to win, or fifth floor to third floor to win. 
just got lost in the sauce of creating this super awesome warp tile puzzle, and it just ended up being a like like what I did in the water temple, and I want to make her. By the way, chat in three hours, that's happening. Segways. It was good. Come on. There are no items I'm missing, right? I've grabbed all the items I can grab. Yeah, it's just trainers now. Nope, fifth floor item. What's a fifth floor item? Which? Oh, J, I guess? How do I get to J? J. Show me that J pack. Come on. Where the hell is J? Wait, where the hell is it? Oh, third floor to fifth. I just, what? No, that's impossible. I just came for the third. No, I'm not on the third floor. Okay, third to fifth. Yeep. Okay, so I gotta go down to the third. This is on fourth floor right now, so we're gonna go down to the third. We gotta go all the way to the end to get that fifth floor item. Understood, Captain. So here will get me this item, which is Soul Badge. Okay, that's nothing, because badges don't matter in this one other than the win. So that's the item. And I have one trainer left. Oh my god. Oh no, chat. I just realized something. This tracker's wrong. The tracker doesn't take into account. Okay. We're gonna finish Silphco, but I have a feeling this tracker got something incorrect on it. Even though it was still gonna lead to the same thing. It might be something I have to report. Where is that 7th floor trainer? That's P? Alright, where is warp P? P warp. P warp is... That was P warp. P warp. Uh... 5th floor. I just realized there is an item in Victor Road that I can grab. Okay, P warp is... This one? Which brings me to here, fighting this guy. So there is an item on the other side of Victory Road. That's just a hidden item before the strength block. Oh, that that uh that is blocked, or that is there before the strength block. That could be a progression item, but it's not tracked on my thing. I need to keep that in mind. I don't think it's gonna change what I went for here. I went for the biggest amount of checks, and that one's an easy one to grab at any time that I want. The other thing it could have done is made that the one-off check. What do you got? Yeah, okay. So now, at this point, it says I have nothing left to do, which is incorrect. This does not take into account backwards road victory. I just meant to say road victory. But there's only one item, so it has to be that item? What else could it be? I have fly and flash. That does nothing for me. And this has to be strength. Or surf. It has to be one of the two. So it's this item right here. What are you? There it is. Oh my. Are you serious? Yeah, that's not in logic according to this. Which is a big flaw. Um. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go finish Silphco. The awkward thing about finishing Silphco is... <laughs> uh, we have to check everybody because we have just too little of anything here. Alright, this is where we start hinting. This is where I should start hinting. First thing is, where is... HM... I, oh god, I don't want any of those HMs. What do I need? How many checks am I up to? I, You know what I haven't done? I haven't been hinting, and I have 193 checks on me. That's my fault. I should have been taking a lot more care with that. I was also just kind of talking with chat and enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. Um, HMO3 is going to get me more. Where is that? Silk, you fucking piece of shit game. Where are my badges? Pewter Museum. I need cut. <laughs> I 
need strength. Oh, God. oh, actually, well, no, I could get four. No, I still need strength no matter what way I go. I need SS ticket. What is happening? I need to. Wow! That's the biggest chain I've ever seen in my life in this game. That is unreal. Okay, so. Wow! Okay, so I need to finish Sylph Co to then finish Saffron Gym to then finish SS Anne to then finish Victory Road to then finish Pewter Museum. What? That's cool. That's rando. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's a labyrinth. A banger, so would say. I don't know, chat. This might this might not be me getting out of here early after all. I might not be able to eat tonight. Middle item. Middle item means it is locked by a card key. No, maybe not. I'm gonna take the extra fights here, though. Oh, I know. I already went through here. Damn. Middle. I oh, it's this one. Ah. That no. So I mean, his whole AP is just a rando, right? So there it is. Wow. Look at all that progression, chat. Uh. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble here. We can come back to this anytime we want, right? So let's just finish self co unlock getting strength, and let's just move with it, right? Let's chase what we... Uh, also, I want to chest something. I gotta get used to this kind of movement. We want to run up here. Make him walk a little bit further because it'll take him way less steps later on to get through. It's three st extra steps versus five steps. This should save a little bit of time if I do this right the first time through. Unbelievable. Strength will be good. More power points. We can start pumping PP ups into us and make that happen. At this point, maybe I should have been PP upping Psychic and things like that. I was just kind of hoping I'd end up in... No, I kind of messed this up. What I should have been doing was recognizing I have a level 69 Pokemon. Chances of me uh, replacing this are next to none. And I should have just been PP upping to save myself on healing. Having said that, we still would have had to heal, so it's not the hugest punish in the time loss. But now that we're going to get strength, we're definitely going to prepare ourselves for the end game here. But yeah, solo AP is just a regular rando with, with its own settings, right? Po no, normal... Red Rando is not going to give you this. This is this is this is what you could do with more settings, which is what I look forward to in Gen Three. Yes, he just walks way faster. What a what a series of events! Maybe it was a good thing I wasn't hinting early, because that cost. Whatever 27 times 5 is, 5,400, 835 checks. That's unbelievable. I have enough for two more hints. I don't even have my hint checklist open. And just think, that's logic without even needing badge requirements. Like, without badge requirements. That That's, I think, the most gridlocked I've seen a red seed in quite some time. I had a couple of gridlock ones. That was with badge requirements. Without them, usually you just kind of keep going. This one really, to be fair, made me panic a bit because the tracker doesn't know road road victory logic with that one check. I'm, I'm going to report that. Can I download a spoiler log? I have to talk to the pop tracker person. Free XP bag. Wow. Raid Shadow Legends. All right. Now Silphco is burnt to the ground. Let's go get our stuff. Okay. 
Psychic 4. We're still going to take all these checks anyways, though. Should we take all these checks? I mean, we're not really motoring. Let's just clean out Saffron Gym so we can get some practice with that. We can also go get Copycat Girl here. Also, that was the last location check. You haven't seen that on this channel in a while. That's why we buy the Polka Doll. You need a Polka Doll to give to the Copycat Girl. In case you're curious why I do that every time I go to Celadon. And I have it where you cannot use Polka Doll to get past Marowak. You have to kill it, which requires hard requires Soul Scope. Which makes it for a little bit more fun of a logic. Alright, the biggest thing in Saffron Gym is paying attention to where we come from. We're going to walk in a counterclockwise formation, fighting every trainer. Once we get to that part where we are starting to loop, uh, there are two warps we have to take to hit the final two trainers in this gym. Good start to the fight. A miss. If we can get Earthquake, that'd be great. You've also noticed we have not taught Surf. I don't think Surf improves this build. I think this is going to be a surfless carry. Strength, 155% will improve this build. More like a 115% chance, but 115%. That would be like 12. Okay, so we start here. So usually it's just diagonal, diagonal down from your starting warp. That will get you to, to Sabrina. You can also just walk in a counterclockwise position and get there in one more warp. It'll take one more warp, but you'll have some trainers you have to dodge. Um, if we're trying to hit every trainer, we need to pay it, like, we need to remember which one we come from, and then keep walking in a counterclockwise formation. That seems to be the most consistent way for me to clear this gym. Although my brain does bungle once I have to start doing the two warps, and I'm not sure exactly what's wrong. Either I'm not paying attention, or whatnot, so if I go here, I should fight Psychic 3, and then I want to hit bottom left. That'll bring me to Psychic 4, which will give me my strength. Which means we'll start PP upping. We'll start raising the PPs! Raising all the PPs. Wait. I'm looking forward to trying simulcasting, though. We're going to try that on Friday if I get the time to set it up and everything works smoothly, like all the tech in my channel does. Uh, should be fun. I'll be over on my YouTube channel. Whatever the hell that means. I will not have both chats up, though. You're not allowed by, by my contract. I'm not allowed to have both chats up on screen. So I will be very diligent in using people's names when I talk to them. I mean, I already like to believe that we do that here. Mostly. But having two chats open to pay attention to, luckily for us, we're not a huge community that watches all at the same time, so... Paying attention to a smaller chat will not be a problem. SS ticket. That's my strength. Okay, so I hit this, which means then I have to hit the top of the bottom warp, I believe. SS, we're not doing every check. We're just going to grab strength and go. We'll wait for our we'll wait for our hints to tell us if we have to clear SS. And it won't be a clear in SS unless we need things. Okay, so here we came from here, right? So we're going to hit this one up. That brings me to you. And then we're going to hit the bottom one up, then we go back one. I believe. Hopefully my computer can run it. <laughs> Maybe certain games will, will lag it out. We'll see. It's all about testing. Give it the old college try. Earth badge, you say? Wow. Aren't you special? That little rock in Victory Road. Open my horizons. What was it in Silphco? Or in SSN? First floor item. 
First floor item. That's in the room with the two trainers. So we could probably take just those three. It's this one. And then we just take this one. And then we take this one. Yeah! There we go. Good. That was that's that's the path you're supposed to take. Very little stuttering. Still second guess myself, but like I said, I'd rather be second guessing because for me, second guessing means that I'm getting my information mixed up rather than me being completely lost. That is a confidence booster. High five me. You gotta do the lip bite with the with the high five. Like, hmm. I tell chat to give themselves a self high five for making it through another another wonderful day filled with challenges and experiences. I have a feeling half of you would come back and say, instructions unclear, slap myself in the face, and then I'm liable for people's health. <laughs> Mr. Streamer, I tried to high five myself, but somehow I ended up in a dumpster? Did you suplex yourself there? Yeah, it was kind of weird. I knew it. All right, let's get the surf checks going here. Where's the PP ups? Oh, but yeah, we don't. Uh, yeah, you know what? PP up the psychic, the bone meringue, the ice beam. PP up the bone meringue twice, and then we're gonna save three PP ups for. Oh, I didn't teach soif. Uh, we're gonna save three PP ups for strength. Am I in the, I'm in the realm now, yeah, yeah, Ice Beam TM, funny. I'm gonna give myself a couple of calciums. Make those special attacks sting a tiny bit more, make me a little bit thicker too. Rolling kick. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely eating my dreams with this one. Uh, shelter. Yeah, that works. Just means cut will have to go on our flyer. Because we do need cut. Stomp's interesting. We also just catch another Pokemon. So deep up. While we're here, we're going to need to do checks regardless. Let's just get some extra hit points coming in here. That way we don't have to come back. Oh, well, I mean, we could have just saved this for if we had to come back to SSAN. The other big goal is going to be going down to Cinnabar, clearing all that out, especially if we get Mansion Key. There was something in Mansion, right? Uh, there is something in Mansion. Museum, museum, never mind. I read Pewter Museum as Pokemon Mansion. You can understand why I get confused there. This is also only chasing for one single badge. Maybe what I should be doing is using all of my hints right now. I just don't want to... Wait until we get out of this. Yeah, wait until we're... Wait until we're in the middle of doing checks. It's actually, yeah, we should be doing it here because we're at SSAN. We don't want to be double dipping SSAN unless we find out later. Like that we can't prevent. But we can prevent having to fly away and then fly back. Not that the badges are going to get me anywhere. Uh, with strength, though, it could get me through the front of Victory Road, but I have back entry, so, like, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to tonight. I'm always looking forward to every charity night and every stream that I ever do. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Because all four are reunited. Zeph taking her break. Not Skeletor being ill. So, like, you know, had to take a break. Harry out for revenge after that Shadow Temple fiasco. Estolia looking to put another one of my maps to shame. I think the Spirit Temple will be a turning point for people. I, I think there is a chance. 
that we could have more than one clear of the sp of, of a temple. I fully believe in our in our racers. And this is the one where we actually have a double clear of this map. The testers have done it. All right, let's start hinting. Viridian Gym. That requires six badges. Cerulean Cave. Good. All right. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. That's great. That's great. That's great. We can already go. Actually, let me double check. It says I could do it, but usually it's late. Yeah, I need two more key items. Um, yeah, this doesn't... I know this tracker doesn't read uh, stones and everything correctly, so... First floor item. That is over here. Wrong room. That's okay. That's the that, that, those are the two rooms I'm supposed to skip. Three rooms I'm supposed to skip. Did I just get lucky last time when I skipped three rooms. One, two, skip three. Downstairs you do every one of them. Upstairs you do every other one, starting at room two. This one you're supposed to do two rooms in a row, and then you skip. Thought you're supposed to skip two rooms for that. I guess you skip three rooms. My bad. There it is. Let's get cooking, chat. So much is open to us, I'm terrified. So what I'm going to do is toss an item here to bring me back to the top of my menu. Fun little optimization. We go. That is the one thing you you won't get in other games, is cool little glitchy optimizations like that. I do live for those like mini things that you could do to save tiny bits of time. That's something that only Gen One brings. The jank does fill me with determination, so I will be a little sad when. Well, I mean, I'll still play Pokemon Red, but you know what I mean. Just other Pokemon games just won't have that same level of uh, exquisite taste, if you will. All right, let's go searching. Uh, do I just full clear SSN? I might full clear SSN. I did skip a trainer, son of a bitch. There are a lot of checks in here. Let me do full clear it. Ugh. Skip this guy. So it is skip two rooms. I just miscounted from the wrong room. Fair enough. Because it's gentlemen, gentlemen. You're supposed to do downstairs first. I was just going to rush it, but now I've made the executive decision I'm going to do all of this. We definitely have the power points to clear now. And the levels. We're level 74. In case you didn't notice. I don't know why I ice beamed that. I'm not used to being level 74. Looking for my third badge. Bicycle? Can't make me. That is a key item, though. We need one more to even go to Cerulean Cave. I've done 222 checks in two hours. That's... Surprising. Actually. That feels surprising. The way that I see it is if I reach 270 checks and I'm not done, something horribly has gone wrong. Not necessarily on my side, but the logic was a nightmare. So we may be very well reaching that.
Because 270 is 10 hints. So if we've needed that many, if we've need, if we've needed any more hints than that to get this done, that's spooky. Mr. Propokanoop, your brain deserves a vacation and a pay raise, to which I will happily accept. Have some water. The great thing about being a content creator for randomizers is you can claim that you are a genius when you're right about doing something in a rando which is completely out of your hands, and you could equally claim that the game hates you when it doesn't work out. There's no blame that you can take. I'm Scott Free. Not Scott Lang, I'm Scott Free. I don't have to take any responsibility for any of this. I'm just here. I push the button. The game takes you for the ride. Really, the content creator is the game, not me. I'm the talking head for the game that has no autonomy. Until we have robots that can play their own video games and stream for us. We have that. Uh, uh, don't worry about them, but yeah. Until that happens. I get all of the glory. But the game really is doing everything. Through my instruction, I suppose. Scott Free Noob? I could. There are a lot of rebranding ideas that we've been throwing around, Ukes. It'd be more like Pro Scott Free Noob. But then it sounds too close to Gilbert Godfrey Noob, and I don't really want... Like, that's well, not a bad thing, just... You know. I don't have the voice to do... The Parazazu? Marsh! Oh my god, the SSN stands for Super Secrets! I was trying to think of a better word. I'm like, I'm not gonna risk this one. Yago, thank you. What was I thinking? Zazu. What was Z what's Zazu from? Is that another voice you did? Oh god. Maybe just mixing up a bunch of letters together with like two things that's like Zaza and Yago. Thank you! That was Roanak. Wait, really? That was? Thank goodness I'm not a critic of movies. I just watch the stuff. But I wasn't wrong about Zazu being a name. That was actually the first time. Once I found out that. Yeah, yeah. That would be the first time in my life, I guess, I've heard Rowan Atkinson. The remake was John Oliver? Are you serious? Huh. I never watched the remake. I don't remember what the what the long and the short of it is. I don't know. Disney remakes haven't been on my radar. I'll watch them if they're around, but like I'm not seeking them out. You know what I mean? They're not as bad as people make them sound. It's just I, you know, I've watched the movie. I know what happens. <laughs> I didn't need the remake to throw in diversity for me. You know what I mean? Like some people seek that out. I don't. You know, I have my childhood memories of the few Disney movies I enjoyed, and now I curse Disney for all the shit that that Walt Disney stood for, so. Probably projects-based. It's not always like they don't want to necessarily be associated with it. Who knows? There could be a plethora of reasons. James Earl Jones is an icon, right, of voices, so I'm sure there is a big bag in there for him. Maybe the deals weren't as good for everyone else. And James Earl Jones deserves the bag, 100%. There's my 11th key item. All right. Staying in SSN was 
the standard, but I'm going to claim it as the greatest thing I could have done. I mean, yeah. You know, it's, it's the reality of it. Oh my god! Super treasure trove, Anne. What is happening? Anne's got... This is like Nelise's bra yesterday. It's just loaded here. Do you know the power of the dark side, Suwako? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? Don't even go Dory on that ass. Do you? Do you? Where's my max elixir? It's a max ether. Good enough. I'm level 70 whatever. <laughs> it's got to the point where I have to worry about my levels. We're stronger than everything in the game. Oh, 100% use. That's what most remakes are about. That's why I like what they did with Star Trek, where it was exactly that, except they made slight enough changes from people who love the movies to make that work. But I don't think that's a bad thing, per se. The only thing that bothers me is that people don't put two and two together when it comes to, like, why is the Little Mermaid black? Uh, well, considering it's a Caribbean movie, <laughs> just, just saying, like, when people get bothered about the diversity being added in, that's, that's what, like, pisses me off. I'm like, you don't have to care. You really don't have to care. It's good that it's happening, and nothing is lost from us doing that. Who did I miss? You are a trainer. Ah! I did miss you. Whoopsies! I, I saw her. I'm like, I don't think you're a trainer. You are. My bad, lass. You're going to hold something very useless for me now. No, but she's not, like, it's not White Little Mermaid. I thought it was based in the... I thought they were doing proper representation. Uh... Northern coast of Sardinia. Oh, that's not even fucking remotely close. Wait, no, that's where they filmed, but... The Atlantic Ocean. Well, it's a good thing I teach Canadian geography and not any real significant geography, or don't teach geography at all. My point stands. Doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother anybody. Uh, we need to go to Victory Road to get cut. Do we? Why did I need cut? What do I need cut for? Do I need cut anymore? I thought it was for some reason. My bad. I thought that was. I thought there was more of a of a of a proper representation. But I mean, uh, uh. Oh, I need cut for pure gym. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to Indigo Plateau. Danish inspiration from Italy. Got it. Yep, very much off. My bad, misunderstood. Maybe the problem was the information I was getting was mixed in with the racists. Very possible. Again, shouldn't matter, but it does to some. I need repels. I'm gonna load up for the end game here too. Let's do that. Whoa, that was that was some glitching. Where are 
where my max goes. Perfect! Alright, we're loaded. Uh. Whee. Oh, my eyes! There's a reason why I put a flashing warnings on my on my marathon run. My freaking eyes, dude. Okay, we're gonna do all the checks along the way anyways. Wait, what? Really? Huh. Don't say use flash. Don't say don't use flash. Or are you actually saying you know a way to fix the flashing? Because I don't know if I don't know if it'll work with this version of a randomizer. Or this uh emulator. Problem is, like, all the flat you know away, I'm willing to hear it out. What the hell? Oak's parcel? This run's on crack. This run just makes no sense to me. There, There's just so much loss with, the, with this. You have a good lurk, Ukes. Thanks for coming out. No, because I'm practicing for the marathon, uh, officer. I'll, I'll be testing or Emerald, don't worry. I don't know when, because December's coming up. Unless people want to make an exception, waggly eyebrows. How you doing today, officer? Let's hit those two up, go over here. Oh, were you? Which trainer is it? Juggler 1. Juggler 1 means I have to go out below. So I don't have to do this properly. I'm just going to grab the items that are freestanding. Don't have to push that. I don't need to push that rock at all, actually. Yeah, we should be fine. From the OBS win. No, but the problem is the capture. It, the, the problem is the capture for people on the marathon. I have to put the flashing warning up. Not for me. I don't care, but I, I have no photo sensitivity. It's audio sensitivity. Replace it in the marathon? No. I have to get more $5 losses here. I have to get more charity donations from Jinxes. Thing is in the OBS settings? Does it work on an older version of OBS? Because I have to use one of their, ver their modified versions of OBS. I don't think modifies much of the things I can touch. I, I'm willing to take the, the suggestion to see if I can make that work. Chroma keying the white? Oh, do you have the number off the top of your head? Chroma key the game? Really? Huh. Hey, things evolve. Even if it takes years. Evolution is a fickle and slow moving process. I'm glad that the audio is doing better, though. Like I said, literally, it was just me misremembering what people... What is happening? I don't like this. This is terrible. This is awful. Wow. Again, nothing would have changed. It's just, what a, what a logic chain. There are actually a couple of different ways Cerulean Cave could have been forced. That's cool. I don't regret the SSN. I think that gets me overall more checks or more points towards hints in a less painful manner versus this place. This place. I'm going to catch this guy to cut. Save my sanity. Tentacle, the perfect cutting Pokemon. Of course. Razor sharp tentacles. Where did I throw my master balls? Oh no. Hmm. Were they still up top? My eyes did catch the letter M, but...
it was actually it was actually there. <laughs> I thought I moved them. My bad. Usually they get moved by this point in the run. That I'm not looking for them, but here we are. Once again. I actually have to do the rock thing to get access to this juggler. This first guy that I fight, I believe, is a juggler. I meant to not actually have this guy walk, but just a step, no big deal. I'll give that a try, Broke, and see if I can make that work on the thing. Thank you, that's good information. I had no idea. I would have never thought to chroma key a game. This is a black belt. Shit, which one's the... Oh, Juggler, I think, is guarding the corner. Because I know the other guy's a tamer. I fought that trainer up there, yeah? I didn't get cut by... No, I got Safari Pass. No, I didn't. Got yeah, nothing. 20 coins. Now you're a black belt. Is this guy the... Oh, this guy might be the Juggler. Are you the Juggler? I know that guy's tamer. He's juggler, okay. He's the juggler knot. Chroma key, and then on your lowest layer, use the color source option. I'm just gonna copy that, I'm gonna do that later. We don't have enough time for it now, unfortunately. I'm going to save that. I'm going to give it a try on the actual OBS that I'm going to be using for them. Because I'm not streaming for my own OBS. They gave me a specific one. I'm going to clear all of floor two. That way, if I just need to clear floor one, I could just uh, rush my way into it. Or I could just full clear it now because I'm here. I could do that too, I suppose. Leave no stone unturned. All right, there's my cuts. Do that. Do that. Yeah, might as well do it. Stop whipping me, it's weird. I don't like it. Hmm, interesting. This is Juggler 2. <gasps> Don't. Uh, mm. Oh, my repel wore off. Brain got too focused on me going up the ladder. in Victory Road. They really didn't know what they were doing, did they? I want that item. I don't want that item anymore. Take it back. Now my stream, I think my streaming resolution is different. That's why I got to do it in the other OBS.
because they maybe changed it for a couple of reasons. Ugh. Energy crash, help. Alright, Hypno. Didn't mean to use Bone Meringue, but it'll kill. Yes, you have to do it that way, unfortunately. Let me out. Oh, you can pass backwards. I think he read the full description of his job. Come on, find me a badge. Just basic items you can find outside Viridian City. All right. Just gonna do this now. While I'm here, we do need to go to Cool Trainer Three, which I think is just the guy in the back of the gym. I think. So I think we could take a. I think we could fight him from behind, actually. It'll take three trainers to get to him. Two seal. Let's see. Hint. Volcano badge. Be kind. Power plant. No mode. Let's go. All right. So first things first. I can't see my game. First things first. Let's go to pewter. Yeah, we gotta do this in a very particular order because we actually need six badges. So we're gonna be ending on cascade badge. Museum required. Let's go, chat. We can sub three this, no problem. That's a big, shiny boulder badge that I slap on my chest like armor. Next, we are going to fly over to Cerulean. I'm going to go heal here. There's a reason for it. First floor, which item? Northeast item? That's right at the front. Damn. Let me in. Yep, 
Just with heightened security, exactly. Done to badge. So now we do this, but it'll warp us right to Cerulean, which saves us a fly. I'll have to do one fight, but it's way faster than going through X uh, through Rock Tunnel again. X Tunnel? <laughs> Omega Strikers on the brain? I don't know. We're in power plant northeast. I oh god, it's like really in there. He's playing Emerald. I'm going to have to get used to baiting the trainers again. Oh, boy. Can't wait for that. My favorite part of Pokemon. Baiting people with movement. We're not going to do any pause buffering crap. Don't care to do it. I don't think you stand a chance because my level 89 Furo. Come here, Metapod. I don't care if you're an Arceus killer. Your Arceus is a farce. the game felt bad for me and gave me bicycles so I could just clean this part up really quickly. That's an item. The one at the front. We're gonna go down here. First one items I see there. Alright. One more. It's behind three trainers. We have a total of seven, eight, or eight trainers left in this. If I'm right, there should be eight trainers left in this entire seat. Flying seal away. And the best part is we don't have to fight. Oh, because we never delivered the Oaks parcels. So we don't have to fight anyways. We have immediate fly to uh, Indigo Plateau. What a seed. Like, what a bagel seeds on it. So I'm going this way so I can bait the guy out so I can go behind. I mean, that's probably not the first time that's happened to Musky Boy over there. To Elon Muskrat. I wouldn't just so... Oh, that's this guy. Holy shit. Never mind. We have... <laughs> that's... Cool Trainer 3? Okay. Sure. I said a swear word. Damn it. Let's go win the game. We're gonna finish this on time. That's so funny. Started late. Super rough seed. Still finishing on time. Profit! If I cared more about what happened on Twitter, I would uh, actually look into the numbers of what has actually happened to his wealth as a result of it. Someone 
trying so hard to overhaul something that didn't need overhauling in the name of freedom. It's quite hilarious. But like in a sad way. We could just learn Drill Pack. Yeah, very daunting moveset. Dual Stab and good coverage. Earthquake would have been better too, but, you know, Bone Meringue is just one step down, but a really good step down. Just a bit slower, because it usually takes two hits. So like I said, chat, we'll be taking a break after this run. I apologize. I did want to play some other games today. It just wasn't in the cards with how I was feeling this morning. We will be back at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time with the I Want to Be the Guy of Time. Day 3, racing in the Spirit Temple. 100% tester approved and completed. Which means it has to be a good one. We'll be doing that, and the same format will be happening tomorrow. We'll be firing up an APC, playing anything if we have enough time, and then uh, it depends if I decide to, if I can go talk to my boss tomorrow. I might do that and just call stream earlier tomorrow morning. But then same thing, 5:30 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, we will have the final map. I want to be the guy at time. We are still trying to raise money for Sick Kids Hospital. If you guys are interested and feel like donating, the link will be open all year. But this will be the final event officially for fundraising for Create for Sick Kids for us this year. It's been a very fun year. Thank you, everybody, for ringing in the same charity, different initiative. Well, same initiative, different name year. It was a transition year. It's been a very tough year, but I'm very proud of us raising so far $1,939, if I'm remembering all the numbers correctly, between the two campaigns, because we had a spoiler campaign. But... I think we did an incredible job this year. And I appreciate everybody for jumping in on the giveaways, jumping in on the incentives, making all that happen. I do have the prizes wrapped up and ready to go. Those will be shipped out soon. $15 to charity. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, I'm making a, a deal where every jinx I find on the marathon day I will donate $5. It's pretty... I'll donate a little amount anyways, regardless, but... It's a fair amount for what I can afford. Chat, count them down. If you will, please. That should be one. It's Gen 1, though. We'll never know. That's one. That's two. That's... Oh! I almost did it! Almost pre-called it! That's three. We well, never call it in advance. It's Gen 1. That's four. Nah, this one's definitely gonna take two hits. The bug type champion featuring a fairy. That's five. That's what? Oh, 
That's GG. Two forty-three. Considering how that made us run around, that went well. He started with a Zubat, so it's just evolved. That was good practice. That was a very oh the you don't remember that sprite? It's so good. It's so aggressively dramatic. <laughs> I don't even remember what it looks like in yellow. I don't I don't remember the other sprites at Golbat. Like the Gen 2 sprite for Golbat's spectacular. But I love that Gen 1 sprite. It's so good for no reason. The Gen 1 Mew, no, the oh man, no, the, the mini, the mini Piccolo looking thing is strange. Man, all things considered, that was a very good practice seed that pulled us through the ring and uh, made things awkward, so. Glad we got that little bit of practice in. Once again, Oak tells me he's disappointed in me. That's fine. I don't need your, I don't need your uh, satisfaction, Oak. I'm good. Shelter is a champion. It was our first catch, in case we could get an early water stone. Alright! Cool! Chat, I'll be back in two hours. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to keep up and just get the notifications when we're going live, either follow or join the Discord, get the live notification setting for yourself. It's a very lovely community where we, uh, we keep it fresh, keep it cool, keep it easy, and... Uh... You can get all the updates. It's basically the main hub for everything we do on the channel. Uh, but also, make sure you're following social media and stuff like that. Supporting me in multiple ways if you can and want to. Like I said, we're coming back for Create for Sick Kids tonight. Day 3 Spirit Temple in just a couple of hours. I'm not going to be raiding. Feel free to stay in chat. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go get some food ready. This is the day. This is, I'm not going to put a bet on it, but this is the day I can be in call at least earlier than 5.30. I'm, I, I don't think I can mess, I can, I'm not going to say I can't mess this up, I can definitely mess this up. Estolia's talking trash, get her. Or don't, or lose, whichever one you prefer. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you tonight for the, for the, for the Spirit Temple. Take care everyone, you have a wonderful day for a couple hours without me, and then after that, we'll be there. See you soon. Peace. The Chunk.